because she said like um I will give you the world and he was like no the world's not enough right <laughs> yeah and it's, I was like you go that's the title go, that's but. the title in the movie <laughs> you go yeah, it happens all the time and uh, that the title gets mentioned I will say that to you once. yeah you I'm angry at you I will say the world is not enough <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode 5 of My Girlfriend Watches Bond with my girlfriend Lirit. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> so we've been making our way through the Pierce Brosnan Bond movies because those seem to be the ones you enjoy the most so far. So far, at least. yes. 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 Uh, because GoldenEye, you gave GoldenEye an 8.5 and then Tomorrow Never Dies you gave an 8.6, just one. Yeah. A little bit higher. That one that was, was with the uh, Asian girl, right? Yeah, okay. that was your favorite Bond girl yeah, so far. So far, yeah. Yeah. She did very well. Yeah, yeah. No, that I was really surprised. I still am that you enjoyed Tomorrow Never Dies more than Gold and I. But I agree. Wei Lin is a really cool Bond girl. You must uh, remember the um, the handcuff scene from that oh, uh, that movie, yes. <laughs> like this. <laughs> there we go. So, and then he was driving like this. But with one arm? Yeah, well... He was driving... Oh no, he was driving oh! like this. He was driving like this. Oh! No, that hurts! <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> this week we're doing uh, the third Pierce Brosnan movie, The World Is Not Enough. Um, any expectations or things you're hoping to see well, with this? This one uh, is starring Denise Richards. That's right, you and remember. I'm very curious. Yeah. How she's acting and yeah. pulls the bomb girl off. Yeah, I, I got a message today. Uh, lots of fans are aching to see what will she think of Denise Richards. Yeah. You obviously know her from, from some TV shows and stuff mm -hmm. and movies, so you know what type of woman it is. Uh, she's notoriously known to be one of the, the worst acting Bond girls, not by oh. all fans, but, <laughs> but we'll, see, we'll see what you think, of course. Th this is all about your opinion. Um, so this is the movie we're watching today. This is a little bit of the box art, once Who's again. the other one with the red dress? That's Sophie Marceau playing Electra King. She's the bad one. I won't spoil anything, but you always assume there's one bad one and one good one. Mm -hmm. You always assume that. It is, right? In, no. every, in every film. No, that's what you keep saying, but you know, in... Well, uh, it is. Well, uh, in the previous one you had um, well, yeah, Terry Hatcher. Well, yeah, Lynn, that was the good one, and Terry Hatcher was with the bad side. But she helped Bond, and just like the one... And then she's also bad. That was a really bad one. That was good, so mm -hmm. every film you have a bad girl and a good girl. So it's mainly with, with, with the, the modern ones where there's usually two. Uh, at least with all of Pierce Brosnan's movies, there's usually two. And but the other ones who are in this era are... One, uh, um, one you group. can't tell from the posters, but yeah. no, there's usually two as well in the oh, okay. ones. But we'll get to Daniel Craig soon. Uh, lots of fans have also been asking, are you going to be watching the older ones, because we've made our way from Goldfinger <laughs> to uh, Massive yeah, Skip. I do not like old movies. I like modern movies. That's so why we went to the we went Brosnan to... era. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, I don't know, I will surprise you. But <laughs> you heard it here first. Maybe. We're just going with what she feels like doing every I time. I just want to watch these films from Pierce Brosnan mm -hmm. and then the other ones with uh, what's his name? Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. And after that, I will see if I want to watch the old movies because I'm not a fan of old movies. Right. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah. I will fall asleep just like Goldfinger. Yeah. That's what. That's my fear as well. So, and we're going. With, she's at the rear, basically. We see. She's the one uh, directing this and uh, and taking us into the but direction. But you said in one old movie. James Bond is getting married? Yes, that's the one in the comments that people are aching for you to see. It's the one with George Lazenby. Oh, that was the model guy, right? Yeah, he wasn't an actor. Yeah. Um, so, we might make our way through those as well. 
I really assume because that's in the in the same era as Goldfinger. So you okay. will fall asleep with that movie too if you yeah. if you dislike old movies that much. But uh, you know, is it in black and white? No, none of the Bond movies. Oh, are. okay. No. <laughs> Yeah. No, Goldfinger was in color, right? So that looked good. Yeah, that's, okay. that's the third one. So no, they all uh, none of them are in black and white. Mm -hmm. They're not that old. But um, <laughs> the world is not enough today. Another yes. '90s movie, uh, 1999, the so final weird. '90s movie. World is not enough. What's enough then? We live in the world, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, this is uh, Bond's family motto from. One of the older movies, he mentions it being a f family motto, and that's why this movie got that title. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what so she weird. thinks of this. <laughs> so let's go and we'll uh, see her reaction. See you later. So, we've just finished watching The World Is Not Enough, Pierce Brosnan's third James Bond movie. Yeah. And I always start by asking you, uh, what are your initial thoughts after this one? Well, <laughs> it was not that thrilling. Um, it, was a lot, it was a lot of action, but... Yeah, I don't know. Not as exciting as the previous one? No, no. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. You seemed less uh, interested in uh, this one than Tomorrow Never Dies. You were really into it. Um, and this one, a bit different. Yeah, but the villain here, um, I was correct in the beginning. That girl with the red dress. Yeah, you one. were correct about Electra King. Also, of course, it doesn't help that on the back side I put but a picture of her torturing Bond. You said to me, you asked me during the film, you know sh for sure she's bad, you know I, for sure. I, I try, know for sure I she's bad. I tried to hope that yeah. she, she may villain, not fall for the twist, yeah. but you, you didn't really fall but for the twist. But the villain is always wearing red if she's a woman. Always. So, so yeah, just, she, by, she just because she was wearing a red dress, that, that's what made you suspect she's a villain? Well, red is the color of blood. So <laughs> <laughs> I make the connection right over there. <laughs> Yeah, but and she looks more like I'm a badass girl. I will rock this world. Yeah, so without <laughs> looking, you could tell from the picture. Like mm -hmm. you always assume there is a bad girl and a good one, and in this movie, yeah, but it, there is. She looks like I'm bad, and she she looks like well, I'm here. I can't argue because that's what ended up happening in this movie. But uh, we can mm -hmm. start by talking about Electra King. She uh, is one of the rare female main villains in yeah. the series. She was um, the first one I saw. Um, was it there, in From Russia With Love, which we didn't see, yeah. you do have like a female villain, but she's part of like a bigger organization. But but, but she's, she's calling her own shots. She's kind of the main villain in this movie. Yeah, but she played it very well. She got under my skin very fast and I was like, kill her, please kill yeah. her. Yeah. Oh my God, just shoot her. <laughs> yeah, were you surprised? Because a lot of fans are definitely asking, it. were you surprised that Bond just shot her? I thought she would die in her own oil. Right. She is like, this is my oil, my family's oil. Okay, just die in your own oil then. Yeah, that's what you were expecting to see. Yeah, but she just died from one bullet in her stomach. But what did you think of that uh, that particular moment of Bond, kind of hesitating and then? When she did call Renard you know, just to warn him to go away, mm -hmm. Bond just shot her in cold blood, a woman. What what did you think of that scene? Well, she's bad. Mm -hmm. But she's a woman and Bond just shoots her. Yeah, so. yeah, actually, you are right. She's a bad guy, so she should just kill. But it wasn't surprising to you. No, 
I was surprised that she didn't die in her own oil. Okay. Well, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. That will make the movie like more exciting. Yeah. But no, no, fair enough. Um, she was, of course, part of uh, an, another villain, uh, Renard, who initially was presented as the main villain. <laughs> He's a cockroach. <laughs> yeah, the bullet in his head. What did you think of his whole gimmick of, of him not feeling pain and that kind of stuff? Kind of weird, because he picked up like coal or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like the burning rock. Yeah, but he didn't have any burn on his That's what I pointed out in my review. Anything? No. He is a human being, so every human being, his flesh will like burn or something. Yeah. He can't, he can't feel anything, but his flesh will burn. Yeah. That, that's what always surprised me about that moment too. Like I, I get that gimmick, but it's kind of weird that yeah. that the hands it's stay like normal. It's like a robot. Yeah. But and and also, um, did you think they really utilize that pain gimmick? That they they take the full potential of that idea, or well, what's your opinion on it? My opinion is it wasn't real. No. No. If they put like his hand, like burned hand, then it mm. would make it real. But mm -hmm. no. No, I agree. Okay. What, what did you think of Renard himself himself as a villain? He looks the part. Much more than in the yeah. previous film where he, he had looks a, the part. He was like he, a little, little scary with his eye and yeah, anything. like one of his eyes is like this. Yeah, yeah. He saw the scar right over here. Yeah, from the bullet. So he looked the part like a villain. Yeah. Yeah, much more so than because I remember in Tomorrow Never Dies that movie you really liked, but you you didn't like Elliot Carter. No, no. Yeah. He was just. <laughs> yeah, so Renard is more convincing and yeah, looks yeah. more the part. Okay, um, Electra King, you weren't really surprised he was the villain. You, no. you, you kind of were, were guessing that straight away. It didn't help that you saw this picture. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I so resented that I put it on here. But um, there was, of course, another woman in mm -hmm. this movie, uh, which we talked about beforehand, Denise Richards. Who played Christmas Jones, Dr. Yeah, Christmas name. Jones? I recognized her with her voice. Yeah. I'm gonna go get some air. Before she came into the screen, mm -hmm. you just heard, oh, there she is. Yeah, but it took so damn long. <laughs> that, that's, that's because you were waiting so for her to long. appear. You know, if you didn't know she was gonna appear, you there didn't. There was another girl in the action scene, in the first scene. Right, the cigar girl. There was. Her, Electra. Yeah. The doctor. And the doctor. And then I thought, oh my god, where is she then? Yeah. Is she coming in the end? Yeah, she, she appears like at like uh, the halfway point after one hour or so. So it takes a while. Back in the day, she was a beautiful girl. So she did look yeah. good. Yeah, no, I, I do agree. Um, but the acting, that's what she's always <laughs> she's always to ask you about for. The yeah, acting. That, that's what people want to hear. Um, I think they uh, cast her because she's that beautiful. Yeah. That's it. The hydrogen gas level's too hot. Once Charlie will have to blow. I have to stop it. Well, I'll just see you put on here. I go to the summary. I need to go to the summary. I 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 go to the Hal Barry was really popular in the next one, so okay. they they kept they kept this trend in that period to keep casting just girls because they were beautiful, but not because she's a nuclear. Well, physicist. the other ones they are also beautiful, but they can act. Yeah, because the one in Goldeneye, Natalia, you really thought was good, and Wei Ling. Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Yeah, oh, the, one, the yeah. Russian uh, girl in the mm -hmm. facility. Yeah. Yeah, but. Um, but she was lesbian. She had to play a lesbian girl? Christmas Jones? Yeah. No, but I... F because oh, the, because of the line. Um, because the one when he arrived... They said that she's not interested. Was, yeah. Look, our IDA physicist. Don't bother. Not interested in men. 
Uh, I no, I don't think she's supposed to be arrested. Bond she's wants She's playing to bed with Bond. Yeah. So. No, I, I don't think she's uh, she's a lesbian. I never viewed it in that way. Pussy galore kind of was implied, but you're right because there is a similar line in it. Like she's not interested. She's kind of immune to the to the charm. So don't bother. Yeah. But of course, Bond uh, got her uh, charmed her anyway, and in the end. And you were kind of uh, saying in the end of the movie how you felt that was kind of disgusting because of the age different difference <laughs> between them. But yeah, because she's in this movie like 21, 22, something like I that. I think, don't quote me on it, I haven't looked it up, but I think I she's in her early 20s. Yeah. I think she was in her early and 20s. And he's like 40, 40 yeah. something year old. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I think it's more noticeable. Uh, that's always the problem with Bond. The actor ages, but uh, the, it, it remains the same. Like he's supposed to be really good looking and charming. Mm -hmm. Will in Goldeneye, he looked a lot younger. Uh, so that, and even okay. though there was the, the same age difference, but now it becomes noticeable, right? That the, that the yeah. age differences. With her, yes. But I can he see did that. he did nothing with Wei Lin. Yes, he did in the end. On the, the on the boat, they were kissing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's tradition, especially in the the traditional. But the films. other girls, they didn't look that young. But Denise Richards, she was young in this movie, so that's yeah. the only thing I. Yeah. Kind of like. Mm -hmm. too, too much of an age difference, yeah. maybe. Yeah. No, I fair point. Fair point. But that's my. No, no, that's a, yeah, f fair point. Um, we talked about uh, Renard, we talked about Denise Richards, we talked about Electra King, mm -hmm. but there was also... Uh, but the name, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before we go. It's like Pussy... Like yeah. Pussy, what's her name? Pussy Galore. Pussy Galore? Yeah, it's an, another... How do you came up with those names? Well, Pussy Galore, I think, is funny. Christmas Jones, I don't get it. I don't no. really get why... Um, why, why that. I think my... My opinion is, mm -hmm. I think, I don't know this for certain, but I think they named her Christmas just because Bond could make the joke in the end. So I thought they, Christmas only comes once a year. So they had the line, that line, and they had... I the don't know, but I think they just wanted to use that name for that Christmas pun. It's so weird. Yeah. Like, yeah. hi, this is my baby, what's her name? It's Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, there was also uh, another character returning who I might want to talk about this time. Weet je het weer? Bond, James Bond. Ja. Met de lijn met haar. En Veroes. Cool, hè? Dus de bel is aan. Weet je wie het is? Ik weet het allemaal niet meer. Wat je Hagrid. Oh ja, Hagrid! Van Harry Potter! Which was uh, Hagrid. Yes, from Harry Potter. I didn't recognize him. Oh my god, so bad. He was back from Goldeneye. Oh and you I saw you thinking like, I, I know this I guy. I know him. I but know him. And then I was him. like, wait, this is this is Hagrid. Yes, oh yeah. Harry Potter. I'm a Harry Potter fan, guys. Yeah, Robbie Coltrane. Oh my god, and I didn't recognize him so bad. So you you did recognize him in Goldeneye. We didn't talk about him then, but you, you but it kind of sunk away in your mm -hmm. mind because you're you're so used to him with yeah, the big beard. with the big beard and with the hair like this mm -hmm. and like a big man and he's now with no beard or right. with the. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did you think of him? Uh, this was his second Bond film. Uh, mm -hmm. He died in this one. What did you think of his character, Valentin Sikovsky? his character, hmm. like he's a bad guy. He's, a, he's working or... for the Russians, uh, but he's an ally to Bond. He kind of helps him. They have different uh, motivations, but he does help Bond. In the end, there was the moment where he freed him with his gun in the mm -hmm. cane to uh, release him from the mm -hmm. torture chair. Yeah, yeah. Any opinions on, on that moment? Um, well... I thought he would shoot, what's her name? Uh, Electra. Electra. Yeah. But then he just went to James Bond and I was like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then, okay, he just 
took his last breath and he just shut the chain from James Bond and mm. I was like, okay, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think he's a cool character. Um, yeah, I like his I appearances. Can't, I can't place his, his character. Mm. Okay. It's a little weird, but it's, he's an alliance with yeah, James Bond. Yeah, just like in Goldeneye, yeah. he, he returned this time. Also a special moment, kind of, is that Q, who Q. appeared for the last time in this movie. Yes, you told me. Yeah, I, I think uh, I talked about this off screen with you. Mm -hmm. um, Q, he who, who was Bond, uh, who was uh, Q since the Connery years, so since the 60s. Okay. And he was featured pretty much in every Bond film up until okay. uh, The World Is Not Enough. He only missed Live and Let Die and the first film. Okay. But he appeared from the second one all the way to Bond 19. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's featured in 17 Bond films, okay. uh, so it was really emotional for Bond fans to see him go. Um, yeah, but the exit... Mm. Bye. Always have an escape plan, and then he goes under the ground, kind yeah. of suitable. Um, but the, the sad thing is, of course, uh, that this was in fact the last... He, he died shortly after this movie, too, in a car it's accident. so sad. So yeah, sad. yeah, he was a really sweet man. From, from everybody that that worked with him, uh, mentioned this. Um, mm -hmm. and his, act, his last scene, so sad because it was only one sen sentence. Like he pushed the button. Always have an escape plan. Yes, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Not like an action movie, like a scene. Like I'm out of here. No, just one button. Uh, yeah. Fair, but he's of course he's not the action star, but um, no, but he was like the 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 one element that always stayed. Like M mm -hmm. was replaced, there were new money pennies, but mm -hmm. Q up until that point was always Desmond Llewellyn, well the same actor. So he was like the friendly uncle mm -hmm. that was always involved with the Bond films, and then he went with uh, the World's Not Enough, and his replacement was brought in John Cleese, who you may know. Put on the, the weird jacket. Oh, yes, a lot. yes. Um, this is a zipper, and you have to put it here. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. What did you think of him? If, if you do have an opinion on him? Mm. Not Desmond Llewellyn, I mm. think. No. Uh, I he think that's why he just only one movie after that, right? Yeah. Yeah. He, he, you asked me during the movie, does it, so he's Q from now on? And I told her, no, it's it's just the next one, um, where he's Q mm -hmm. in Die Another Day. Um, yeah. Anyway, there was also, I think this movie was a lot more complex in his story. What Tomorrow Never Dies was very action-oriented. They, they mm -hmm. had like, uh, you have to prevent World War Three, and there you go. And it's action, action, action. This yeah. one was more complex with the oil and the, the nuclear things. Yes. Um, a more complex story. Um, what did you think of the story? Difficult. Yeah. I don't want to think. <laughs> yeah. So you much prefer Tomorrow Never Dies, yeah, where it's just action, laid action, out in the action, first 15 people minutes. People killing each other, action, action, action. Yeah, that's why you prefer Tomorrow Never Dies yeah, to this one. Yeah, this, this was action and like nuclear things and then action and then like bombing things. But um, on the water. But speaking of the, uh, uh, so I can see what you mean. You don't need a complex story mm -hmm. with Bond. But uh, the action that did appear, because you do love action, mm -hmm. uh, it started with a really action-packed. What I think is one of the best openings in any yeah. Bond film. It wasn't on a, a military base or anything this time like it that. Wasn't, it no. was just at the bank. That's right. That's <laughs> you just right. want to withdraw money. Yeah. <laughs> And then after that, it was shortly followed by the boat chase on the River Thames in London, uh, where Bond was driving the cue boat, oh, yes. following the cigar girl, which yeah. I think is one of the best openings in any Bond film. What was your opinion on that, that chase over the, the rivers in London? It looked like Venice. In some parts. Yeah. But you <laughs> said to me that um, they asked uh, England, UK, yeah, the, if the they officials. can shoot there. and. Uh, because of James Bond, and they said yes, 
Yeah. Yes, do it. It's a Bond movie, so London is very proud to, okay. to allow them to film it. But there. it was very, very beautiful to see. You see the Westminster Abbey and the right. Big Ben. Right. The setting was very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's that it's one of the most exciting sequences in Bond to see mm -hmm. him go in the, uh, through all the canals and but the, the boat <coughs> itself, where he just go after the girl, mm -hmm. it was a little weird. It's a real boat, though. It's not. It's not. Really? It's not fake. It's a real boat. Yeah. It's not. Nothing of it is fake. It definitely, all of it was done for real, and they did the shots of Brosnan in the boat with a camera in front. Of course, a lot of the stunts were. He's not Tom Cruise. No, 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 no. But no, not a lot of actors are. But um, no, that was definitely a real, real speedboat. So that were. boat can dive underwater. Oh, I don't think that's possible, but. Um, no, I don't think that's real. So, oh, that boat has like the, how do you call that? The torpedoes? Yes. Uh, no, the, the, the props are really there, obviously. The, With the fire, I, that's real? Yeah, I think the fire is real, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Because he just drove on land. Yeah. With that boat. Yeah. That's yeah. so weird, because he didn't have he any He was kind of gliding through the streets. Yes. Yeah. But it's but action packed though I think really action packed opening it gets you excited to see uh, the rest of the movie mm -hmm. and I I think maybe you have a different opinion that was the best action scene in the movie the most memorable one yes because the other one I fell asleep the one at the caviar factory that was the that was one moment you dozed off with like the yeah. rockets and the helicopters with the sauce yeah that was. Quite awesome to see with the sauce on the helicopter. I never saw that before. <laughs> mm, no, that's true. But I can't recall that whole scene. <laughs> no, I saw you go to at that moment. But that's I'm fine. I'm so sorry. No, no, I'm that's, so sorry. It happens. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, there was another action scene in this that you may remember. It's the skiing where they are followed by the parahawks. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what did you think of that scene? <laughs> I got a throwback memory of myself. Oh really? Yeah. In what sense? You were you also were skiing with parahawks behind you? No, no, no. I was oh. skiing off the mountain. Okay. Yeah, I've never been skiing before. We should okay. definitely do but that. I was one very day. young, so I don't know if I can do. What that. was the last time? This, now I have questions to my own girlfriend. <laughs> what was the last time you went skiing? How old were you? I don't know, fourteen. That was the last time? Yes, but I have medals at home. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Yeah. Every year we went, two weeks on vacation. Wow. This time of year. You, should, te you should teach me one day, because we, we have to go. <laughs> you know that I can't teach anything, right? <laughs> I'm the teacher I'm... <laughs> in real life, but I, I've never went skiing, so I would love to, to try. I, I think I've got two left hands and I would probably... But I always want to win, so... I always wanted to win oh, okay. skiing, so I have only <laughs> gold or silver medals. And You're very competitive. Yes. Wow. So even I'm learning to, to, to learn my own girlfriend here. We've been dating for nine months now and I yes. kind of just learned about the medals. But uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, so we talked about the major characters, we talked about uh, the action scenes. Uh, is there anything else you want to mention about The World Is Not Enough? Yes, in every movie, M, M, she stayed in headquarters. Mm. But at this movie, she went out to the field. To the field, to that girl. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, she uh, knows her personally. Right. But why do you do that? You're the head of something. Yeah. You're the head of MI6. It's a bit you of a stupid know, move. You don't too. go. Yes. Yeah. You don't just go there. I saw that uh, film of her. She just video called her, right? Mm -hmm. I saw her eyes. She was lying yeah, to her. Yeah, at that moment but, you you were certain she's the villain. Yeah. You, you said to me like. But oh. she is like the head of MI6. How do you not not recall that? I agree. It's this is a, a critique this movie gets from. Uh, they wanted to use Judy Dance more, who plays M. Okay. Uh, because you know she's a really good actress, and mm -hmm. they wanted to do more with her instead of just the office scene. Okay. And this is why. But um, in terms of the story, you're right. It, it, it's stupid for the head of MI6 to to yes. just go out there uh, where it's dangerous. It's Bond's job to be there. Yeah. 
you have agents to do that for you. Right. And you're the head of MI6. You're the head of spy secret service or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Why do you go in the field? Because you know her personally. Yeah. Like, why do you do that? No, fair, f fair point. I can't and argue with that. And then she I went agree. there and she held captive. Well, that's your own problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's kind of you what went happens. there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this her own fault basically yeah. in your opinion. Yeah, at least she was rescued by Bond. Yeah, okay. She um, was rescued. But she is smart. Yeah, I think she she's How did she how did she got the chip? Oh yeah, the, the guidance chip the, the, to show, I think Bond gave it to her at the uh, headquarters beforehand. Just like that she she was rescued by James Bond. One one scene she was in that house, mm -hmm. and the other scene, back to Scotland. She was back in Scotland, like yeah, how, really like fast. this. Yeah, no, th that's another one. Uh, I thought it was a really good observation because she's rescued by Bond. Bond mm -hmm. dives into the submarine. Mm -hmm. I think because afterward, I think it's supposed to be a few days later because Bond is in a tuxedo and they're celebrating the New Year. I didn't know it was New Year's Eve even, but it was suddenly. They were celebrating the year 2000 with the fireworks in the background oh, yes. and they were saying Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. Did you know it was New Year's Eve? <laughs> no. I think it's supposed to be a couple of days later maybe, that's why she was already back in Scotland. Oh, maybe that's why her name is Christmas. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, so, this is now by far the Bond actor you saw the most. You mm -hmm. saw one Connery movie, one Timothy Dalton movie, and now three Pierce Brosnan one movies. Oh, the Timothy Dalton. Yeah, License to Kill. License to Kill, okay. Yeah, yeah, we skipped over Roger Moore, which a lot of my fans are dying for you to hear your opinion on as well. <laughs> and we skipped over George Lazenby, who did okay. one. Uh, but Pierce Brosnan, he did three. And what did you think of, of him this time as Bond? He was... Uh quite good. His acting was quite good. Yeah. But the last fighting scene of him in the submarine. Right. It was very bad. Which is not bad, James Bond. You're James Bond, like how? Yeah. You With thought it was one bit, hit. You thought it was a bit weak at that moment. Yeah. But that, that, that's not Brosnan's fault. That's just the script writing of what happened. I mean, Brosnan is just following the script. Yeah. But um, at the end, it was okay. He saved the world. Blah blah blah. But you, you thought Bond should have been a bit stronger. In yes, the, in he's the, in James the, Bond, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, true. You may you may enjoy Daniel Craig because he has like he's like this. <laughs> You may enjoy him physically more um, because he's a lot. Uh, he can fight. Oh, definitely, yeah. Daniel okay. Craig is the fighting Bond, definitely. Okay. Yeah. But this, the last scene of him, it was quite off. Yeah. He just won because that one like thing. Oh yeah, the the, the cable. Yeah, the cable flew off. Yeah. That's why he won. But mm -hmm. if that wasn't the case. Yeah. Fair enough, fair point, but but you liked his acting in the film, he wasn't convincing as Bond once again. Mm, yes, yeah. he agree. likes action, you see it in his eyes. Oh, does he? <laughs> yeah, I think he does too. Yeah, one more thing, hmm? his uh, suits. Oh, you always want to talk about brass and suits. Yes, um, he wore different kind of suits in this movie, mm -hmm. but... Um, you didn't even get any dirty or bloody. And no, you keep missing that stuff, right? Well, well, the blood. No, that's just that's true. Get wet, okay. But where's the blood on yeah. your suit? Where's the rip off things on right. your suit? Nowhere. Yeah, he's Nowhere. always perfect hair. And perfect that. hair, yeah. perfect suit. That's, he uh, just walks out of there, out of the, out of the shed. He was like falling down, and he just. Right. Yeah. Now, that's why I think this, and I think the viewers are get, catching this vibe too, okay. is a really good precursor of what you would love to see Daniel Craig as Bond then. Because I don't want to spoil too much, but he's, you, you're missing the fighting now and you're missing the blood. Daniel Craig is 
has a lot of that stuff. So I think you you enjoy see him bleed all the time. Yeah. And on his collar, like yeah. blood and yeah. Something. Okay, that's real. So you you yeah, that's Casino real. Royale is as real as it will get. But we I don't want to spoil too much okay. about that yet. But um, next time though. What do you want? Do you want to immediately go to Daniel Craig or do you want to take the no, challenge? No, no, no. I want to see the The final movie. Pierce Brosnan movie. Everyone is talking about the bad movie. Yeah. You but want I to do see not it. want to be biased, so you I just want to go, go in I clean? Will dive in there clean. Oh, God. Maybe I will like it. I don't know. Yeah, that's the one I'm not looking forward to see. We'll, we'll, uh, but we'll get to that <laughs> next time. But before we close off this video, yes. I always ask you to give a rating to each of the Bond films, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to ask you. What rating again. I gave Goldfinger? Goldfinger, you gave a six. A six, okay. Right, and License to Kill a seven and a half, and then you went with two eight and a half and an eight point six. You can also give the same rating again, of course. You can you can do whatever you want. I will give this one a six, six and a half. Okay. Because so License to Kill is better than this one. Okay. Okay. No, I'm fair. I agree. Um, okay, so we got a six point five. So so far we went up, 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 and this is the first one we went down. We couldn't be on the same streak forever, I think. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we'll be doing next time. Die another day. Uh, I'm so excited to watch that one because you said <laughs> too much that it's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad, but I will be not biased to this film. I will watch it. We'll and see what happens next time. I know, I'm I, very I think curious. I will watch it alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will be next to you. Oh, you will yeah. be next to you? You probably have to support me to get me through the, the torture of watching that again. <laughs> but, um, yeah. How? How many times you watched that movie? Oh, well, lots of times. As a kid, when I was 12, oh, yeah. I enjoyed it. But then I was 12 when it came out, okay. 2002. But you didn't like it, and then... As a kid, I did. Oh, okay. But we'll get but to that. Halle Berry is in that movie. Yeah. So... That doesn't say anything, honey. You will see. Anyway... She can act. She can act better than... Uh, what's her name? Denise Richard. You'll have to wait and see. Really? So, uh, next time we'll have to see what happens in Die Another Day. Oh, I'm so and, excited! And we'll get to that next time. Hope you enjoyed episode 5 of My Girlfriend Watches Bond. We'll be back next time. Take care, guys. Bye! Bye.